if this misuse of antibiotic will continue and we will lose all possibilities to treat bacterial infections, it will mean catastrophe for us. Simple uh, cuts and, and treatments will not be, be possible to, to cure. This will need action. So here at the university, we develop very sensitive technologies for studying bacterial cells, um, even to see the molecular details inside living bacterial cells. Part of this technology is to develop highly reproducible methods to measure bacterial growth uh, by using imaging and image analysis. And this is the foundation of the Astrogo technology. In our setting, we need to focus on the easy to use and low cost affordable format. And that has been our, our goal and task in the company. Uh, we now, after five years, are there. We have a product that is uh, easy to use and is affordable for the healthcare system. So in a traditional test you need to wait for the individual cell to grow to maybe 10 million cells um, such that you can see it as a colony on a plate. Whereas in our technology we look at the growth rate of the individual cell by its length extension. So in, we look at essentially the same properties of the cells but in a different way. Astrego Diagnostic uh, develops and produces a product for antibiotic susceptibility testing. We first diagnose the presence of a bacterial infection in a sample and then afterwards we uh, propose a treatment that will work for this particular uh, bacteria. Astrego's first product will be an antibiotic susceptibility testing system for urinary tract infections in near patient settings. The system consists of a desktop analyzer and a disposable panel. It can detect the presence of bacteria in the urine in 15 minutes directly from the patient urine and perform an antibiotic susceptibility testing for five different antibiotics within 30 to 45 minutes depending on the bacteria it detected. It will help the diagnosis of urinary tract infections and selection of suitable antibiotic uh, for the treatment in the first consultation. We are currently finalizing the development of the product for the European market. After that, we'll be focusing on the development of uh, uh, new panels and seek regulatory approval for use in the United States and in Japan. As one of the most common bacterial infections, urinary tract infections are affecting 90 to 150 million people globally each year. About 50% of the women and 10% of the men is going to get a UTI at some point in their life. It is more common for women to get it more than once in life. And in fact, women are 30 times more at risk contracting UTI than men. So lower UTIs, cystitis, is among the most common infections in women and it's usually caused by E. coli. And let's not under underestimate the severity of the UTIs. In fact, a quarter of sepsis cases are originating from urinary tract infections. Our testing is different from standard testing in that we look at the growth rate of the individual cells when it's exposed to the antibiotic. Whereas in standard testing, you uh, count the number of cells several generations after exposing them to the antibiotic. So unnecessary prescription is eliminated in two different ways. So first, in the case of a urinary tract infection, we can count the number of bacterial cells directly in the urine. And if we don't find any bacteria, uh, there is no bacterial infection and we should not use an antibiotic and instead look for other causes of the symptoms. Secondly, uh, and maybe most importantly, uh, currently uh, you stop using uh, an antibiotic when the local resistance is about 20%, but that means that you could still use the same antibiotic for 80% of the patients, if you know which ones. And this is where the Astrego technology comes in. 
you can pinpoint which patients can be used using the old and, and inexpensive antibiotics and uh, keep using the, these. For bacterial infections such as sepsis and meningitis where the severity of the disease can really rapidly progress, any minutes that can be saved in this, finding the correct treatment could make a difference between life and death. We have evaluated our prototypes with 50 positive blood culture samples from sepsis patients and performed highly accurate AST in 30 minutes. In fact, we have recently published these findings. In general, this technology can reduce the turnaround time for AST for any bacterial infections. Of course, there are infections where the bacteria grow extremely slow. We might not be able to claim similar turnaround times for those infections, but compared to standard ASDs, we can still make a significant improvement. An example of that is AST for tuberculosis. We have preliminary data suggesting that AST for tuberculosis is possible with our technology within eight hours of a positive culture compared to three to four weeks with standard AST. Sysmex was established in 1968 as a hematology sales and service company. And since then, we have started the global business. Now we enjoy the over 50% market share in the world. And also we cover the over 190 countries throughout our uh, 60 subsidiaries. So we enjoy the number one position, not only a hematology, but also a hemostasis and urine sedimentation business. Okay, as for the infectious disease, Sysmex has the products for malaria detection in hematology, viral detection in immunoassay, and also a microbiological detection in urinary the testing. The Asteragus uh, solution is a very good solution against the AMR. And AMR is the, uh, the, the WHO decided to fight against in uh, 2015. It's the highest risk of uh, infectious disease in the world, which decreases the, the effective uh, drugs. And we need the solution against the AMR. Based on our urinalysis testing and also together with the latest technology developed by Asterego, we can develop the innovative solution against AMR. We will fight against AMR. You can open any newspaper and read about the resistance spread but still not much have been done to it. Uh, so this wake-up call needs to come, like it has done with the wildfires and the climate crisis, like it has done with the corona and pandemic. Uh, we know of the problem when it comes to bacterial infections, but we haven't really started to work with it. In essence, this is a paradigm shift in microbiology. For the first time, ASD becomes fast enough to guide antibiotic choice rather than correct wrongly chosen treatment. If we don't start using antibiotics in a better way, we will soon end up in a situation where people start dying from minor cuts, small surgery and even giving birth.